Okay. Um, in this video, we'll be looking at example one. Uh, here we are required to find the cracking moment for the uh, given section. Um, as you can see here, uh, the tensile strength of the concrete is given by this empirical formula. Uh, this is coming from AS 3600. And we are given the compressive strength of the concrete is 25 megapascal. The section of the concrete is given here. The, uh, the width of the beam is 350 millimeter whereas the overall depth of the beam D is 400 millimeter. There are three um, deformed bars of 20 millimeter diameter and the effective depth of the beam is 350 millimeter. We are being asked to find what is um, the cracking moment, the moment at which the beam will start to crack. So here, the compressive strength of concrete is given as 25 megapascal and now using the empirical formula we can find out the tensile strength of concrete that is f dash ct dot f so the tensile strength of the concrete will come as 3 megapascal now for this rectangular section, we know the section modulus of this beam is BD square over 6, where B is the width of the beam, 350 millimeter, and the overall depth of the beam is 400 millimeter. So the section modulus of the beam is Cube. Now with this we can find out the cracking moment for the beam. Uh, it is MCR using the flexor formula that is F dash C T dot F. At this point the tens this the tensile stress at the bottommost fiber has reached the tensile strength of the concrete and multiplied by the section modulus Z. So F dash C T dot F is uh, three megapascal multiplied by the Z is three uh, that will give us this is in Newton millimeter. So if we convert into kilonewton meter, it will be 28 kilonewton meter. That what it means is that if the cracking moment uh, for the beam, um, if the moment acting on the beam is uh, 28 kilonewton meter, the beam will start to crack. 